Hey everyone, this is Jimmy from Jimmy Woodworks again. Uh, today I want to do a quick video on laser safety, especially as it pertains to mounting a set, like a blue laser head on something like this CNC machine where it's out in the open, it doesn't have full shielding and everything like a CO2 laser might have when it's in a closed uh, box with lids and, and or, or covers and interlocks on the system. So there's primarily three things to look out for in something like this. Um, number one is, uh, you know, the, the place or area that's being cut or etched. Obviously, you wouldn't want to stick your hands in there or anything like that. Uh, you, you know, this laser that I have is 15 watts. It can cut eighth inch plywood at about 15 inches per minute. So it wouldn't take a finger off as fast as the table saw would, but it would sure hurt. It would cut very deep. And, be painful. Um, the second thing to really think about with this is uh, incidental reflections of light energy into your eyes. Um, uh, a laser that's for cutting or something is always going to have a lens on it, so it's not going to create a beam that can totally reflect the whole beam straight into because it, as the reflection happens and it goes further distances, it's going to disperse. But even something like five watts if it's very dis dispersed could still hurt your eyes pretty easily so you always want to have a really good quality set of these glasses um, these are these are the ones i bought from opt lasers um, they work well they cover um, all the side access um, areas where light could come in from the sides and the lenses uh, cover uv to about 600 nanometers or something so it works very good for blue lasers and these are nice because some of the red or colored ones are very hard to see computer screens on. You can actually use these and keep them on for most tasks that you're working on. But it's, so when I'm working on this and, and have it running, I always have these on. Even if I'm just, even if I have like a 0.1% power setting for focusing and I keep these glasses on. And you really want to make sure... Uh, that you don't have people walking in from the street into your shop that don't understand that there's a laser running or don't know how to behave around one. So, you know, when I have mine on here, I'm out here uh, making sure that nobody can come walking in my garage door, not my neighbors or the kids to play around here uh, because they won't have glasses on. So I always watch that. Um, and especially with like, you know, if you're trying to etch stainless steel or something, get extra bright light. But even off of wood, you don't want to look at that. <clears throat> Those are the two that are most obvious. The one that people don't think about so much is the smoke that comes off of uh, a laser. I mean, you're burning the material. So something like wood isn't necessarily super harmful. You know, it's like standing in, in a campfire and breathing a bunch of smoke. You're not supposed to do it for a long time, but... A little bit here isn't so bad but things like vinyl or PVC emit really hazardous chemicals that you don't want to breathe and the other thing is some of those chemicals are things like chlorine gas which if mixed with a little water turn into hydro uh, hydrochloric acid and then you can have etching or uh, damage to your laser you can see this is my honeycomb table um, and I just cut one vinyl record album out on here and you can see all the staining left over from the smoke that was blown through from my air assist nozzle so it does leave heavy deposits in some cases so you have to really think about that um, I'm going to put a link up here for a really good website that lists all kinds of materials and what kind of hazards they have when cutting them with the laser and I also put the link down below so you can look for it um, it's a really helpful uh, guide that somebody pointed me to the other day um, to decide, you, you know, you have to kind of decide. In my case, um, I have this very large fan um, in my garage. And so what I do with that is um, I blow all the air out of my garage or all the smoke out of my garage with a very uh, aggressive fan. And I have a downstream air assist nozzle to get it out of the cut. So even as kind of nasty as the smoke is from cutting a vinyl record, I'm not too worried about it because I have a really dry environment. I live here in Arizona in the desert. So there's not a lot of chance that chlorine gas is combining with moisture on my equipment. 
and I blow it away very rapidly so I keep that from being concentrated and I'm not out here when I'm cutting and I'm blowing it out some I got very large garage doors very good ventilation in here but if you're somebody that's cutting um, inside your house maybe you've got a small craft craft room where you have a laser in or you don't have very good ventilation or if you got like a co2 laser um, that's all enclosed you really want to think about that um, that that smoke with the with the chlorine gas can damage and ruin optics um, on your laser it can ruin the honeycomb tables it could you know eventually corrode your uh, gantry um, guide rails things like that so you, you really need to think about how good of uh, airflow how how well is, is your area ventilated can you get that out of there before you decide if it's safe to do that so you know safety is your own responsibility you need to kind of think through that before cutting a new material so any kind of plastics especially you should probably research first to kind of decide if you have a adequate setup or if there's something you need to change for example like your optics you know some of these uh, lasers have a fan on the top side that blows the air down through uh, the the laser head for cooling and you wouldn't want that smoke getting sucked into that fan things like fan bearings i've got experience with chlorine getting in fan bearings and wearing them out early um, and i know you can definitely ruin the optics on a laser in my case i have a nice uh, air assist nozzle that keeps clean air from my uh, air compressor blowing through there so there's no way the smoke can get into my optics and i and i blow it through the here rapidly so and then i like i said i have a big fan so in my case i'm comfortable with doing it here but that's that's again um, unique so you need to think about that um, i'm i'm going to show another video of a project that i cut with this and and i wanted to make this all clear because um, that project would be dangerous under some conditions and even even just cutting wood in some conditions if you had it in an enclosed room that would that could be harmful to you or it should really stink up your house lots of bad things can happen so um, i encourage everybody to really think about what they're doing with this first um, just to make sure you don't have a burn hazard and an eye damage hazard and some kind of a chemical or inhalation um, hazard from the laser work that you're about to do.